Here we're going to talk about layered textures and multiple UV sets. Uh, generally, when you place down a texture, uh, we're going to be a do a y-axis texture uh, planar projection here. You'll get one UV set. Object mode, and this is your default. Now, if I wanted to create a layered texture, I'm going to create a new texture. You don't have to create a new texture, but I don't do anything off the base Lambert. Click Color, and instead of clicking File for a texture, you go all the way down and hit Layered Texture, and that'll pop up this new menu. So. Going to assign this to my geom. Go back over here to my layered texture. Now, so we're going to go ahead and apply the first layer. And now I can use a file and I will choose dirt. We will name the file dirt. You want to name these because it'll be useful later uh, in matching up the multiple UV sets. So here we go. Now I have a layer here. You see it's blue. That means there's a map attached to it. And it says it's called dirt. So let's go ahead and make another one. And you do that by just clicking in this empty space. And you can remove them by clicking on the X's. So now I've selected this un... Uh, textured or uh, a color that doesn't call a texture yet. And I'm going to go ahead and have that call, call a file. And that's going to be grass. So we will name it so. So now I have two objects, dirt and grass. Dirt is on top of grass, but I don't want that. I actually want the grass on top of dirt. So I'm going to middle mouse drag dirt over. So it goes grass, then dirt. Now look right here on the blend mode. This says there's no blend mode, so it's not doing anything. So uh, it's going to be always on top. You want to use over. That means it's going to be on top. And dirt I'm going to set to none because that's the base. Oops. Now you'll notice if I hit the alpha here it'll uh, it'll become alpha so there's all types of blend modes subtract add multiplies just like in Photoshop but for now we're just gonna do over so now I have two uh, two textures and I can alpha blend between them but that's not very good for what we want to do what we want is the ability to throw in a mask or anything or an alpha to separate the two but paint out paths and stuff. So going back into our texture editor window, we have our UV sets here. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to have to select our UVs and copy the set to a new UV set. And we will call the first one dirt. The second one grass. And the third one mask. So now I have three UV sets. They all look to be the same. So what I'm going to do now is take the grass and we are just going to scale that up a whole bunch. This isn't a tiling texture, but the techniques will still work the same. Uh, you can't see anything because I haven't told this UV set to link anything. I just want to show that they're different. Uh, okay, so we'll just do this one a little bit bigger. And we'll leave the mask alone. So, what will happen here is you won't see any of the changes 
until we do something called UV linking and that's going to be down here in the UV sets. So this is a right click on your geom down to UV sets and to UV linking. Now you'll see map 1 which is the original UV map and you have your different uh, file or your different UV sets, dirt, grass, and mask that I created. Now here's the textures attached to it and you can see where I've conveniently named grass and dirt to the proper file. So I want dirt to be connected to the dirt file, grass to be connected to the grass file. And you see now, I'll go into the texture window. If I go to the grass UV, it'll change appropriately. And then if I go over the dirt UV, you're not going to see any changes initially unless I go over here and turn off the alpha for my layered fire or just turn off layer is visible. Now I'm going to be seeing my dirt so when I change the UVs on this you can see it change. And to show you that it's not changing my grass layer, there's my grass, here's my dirt UVs, no changes. And my mask is not hooked up to anything, so it stays the same. Now I have a prepared mask already made, so what I'm going to do here is go to my grass, because I'm going to uh, attach my mask file to the alpha of my grass. So basically I'll have a separate ma mask that is on a different UV that will start masking out these areas and I'll show you what that does. So click over here to the right side, choose file, and I'm just going to be using this mask. I've already painted it. You can see part of it's black and that will be transparent and part of it is white. That'll show the grass part. Let's name that mask. Select our object, go back to the UV linking and you'll see that there's a new texture here in the texture uh, side called mask. Conveniently, I have a UV set called mask, which I will now connect. Now you're wondering, wait a minute, that should be alpha. Why can't I see it? Because you can't see it unless you turn on high quality mode, which is right there. Now you can see where the mask painted painted out that portion so here there's my mask there's my mask now if you want I can't edit in this you can pop open Photoshop and I'll show you editing So let me open that file. Here's that file. I'm going to edit it. Brush. So now I'm going to say there's a whole nother path that does this that's big and fat. Go ahead and save this. Go back here. Reload the texture and there's the change. Now the reason this works is I'm calling a different UV that covers the entire area for my mask while the while the grass texture and the dirt texture are using a tiling UV set one larger than the one one space here. So your grass and your dirt and that's how you use the layered textures to create uh, masked out grounds. This is not really applicable in a lot of 
games, at least not in this sense, but the use of multiple UVs and moving UV maps around to make objects and more cleverly use space as well as different textures uh, is used quite a bit.